Hey y'all, um, so I wanted to do some ab exercises with you today. Um, so after each workout, um, I'm trying to be better about uh, breaking, uh, giving myself a break um, between workouts uh, for abs, so like kind of going every other day. But what I'd like to do is add five minutes of abs after each workout. Um, so today I did lower body, I did, um, I did machines, so I did um, probably about 40 minutes of lifting um, with machines and a challenging weight, um, and so I decided to save my abs for you. Uh, so we're gonna do that now. So I do all different types of abs as long as it like covers my five minutes. So I'll set my timer and then I will do various um, ab exercises. So here are some examples. This is a good one, um, you lay your legs straight out, and then all you do is lay back, stretch those arms above your head, come up, touch your toes. So I will do 15 of each exercise. Don't forget to breathe, don't, to don't forget to take 15 second breaks in between. Um, another one I, I like to do, um, I forget what this one's called, but basically you're on your back and you scrunch your legs and arms up together. So it's um, important to stay balanced and keep your um, core engaged when you're doing that. Another one I like to do, lay back, legs like this, and then crunch. A variation of that one is to put your legs straight up and do the same. A variation of the one we did with the legs and arms together is to stick your arms underneath that um, your sit bones, lay back, and just crunch your legs up. So some people also like to hold something behind them when they do that. Like if you're on one of those benches, you can hold something up here or like a pole or whatever and also do it that way. Another fun one that I like to do are, uh, I really don't have the names for these, but toe touches. So like, if you're like this on your back, legs should always be like hip width apart. And then you're kind of like up off the back and then you just go side to side touching your, your feet. So going each side one time is one. So that's gonna get that oblique area. Then I like to, also for obliques, I like to go on my side, kind of in a, I guess it would be like a kind of a 45 or 90 degree angle, um, arm above. And what you're gonna do is just come up and crunch and you're gonna feel it all in here. Sometimes I like to lift my legs off the ground. I get that full crunch. You're gonna be feeling that all on the side there. And then I flip over and I do the same side. Another fun one is like put your legs in that like butterfly position and you're gonna lay down and then you're gonna crunch up. Goals to kind of, you know, reach for your toes there. Another fun one, the bicycle. Again, you're in that position. And again, each side is one. Um, what else do I like to do? Planks. So you're on your forearms. Plank position, make sure your butt's down, make sure you're engaged in your core. And you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds I like to do. Then I like to go over to my side. Again, you're gonna be all tight up in here. 30 seconds. Then, wah, 30 
30 seconds. Then, also variations, kind of do that mountain climber almost. You're gonna feel that in your obliques. And I believe we call these dog peas. You're gonna bring knee to elbow. Also a really fun plank one. You're gonna kind of be like in a, almost like a downward dog position. And then you're just gonna touch your knees. And what you're gonna do is feel that in your stomach. If you're not, flatten out a little more. Arm and crawl down, up. So this is gonna work out your arm and your, your stomach. Down, down, up, up. Those ones are hard. <laughs> so, I get down to your level. So, I like to do five minutes worth of abs and I'll switch up all the different exercises and just try to hit all parts of the core for five minutes. And after I'm tired and out of breath, like I am now, <laughs> and I, I got to work my stomach, so. Hope this helps you. Um, any questions, comments, concerns? Don't feel or feel free to share, ask, and uh, thank you for watching.